Paris in the late 19th century, a city in many ways unrecognizable from the Paris of today. These photos were taken before Haussmann's renovation took place. Thanks to photographers such as Charles Malville, we're able to take a glance at the old Paris. About 400 photos of the old Paris were taken in five or six years before Haussmann's renovation, a Paris that was missed so much by Baudelaire, Victor Hugo and Eugène Sue. Charles Marville used colour type, a process that allowed for multiple prints of a photo but required a long exposure time, so long that the streets looked empty. The photographer sets up his camera, opens the lens and walks away. He comes back after 15 minutes and closes the lens, the photo's taken. There must have been people walking by since the city was packed then, but they weren't seen on the photo. The camera wasn't able to catch movements. The sweeping renovations were started in 1853 by Napoleon III and his prefect Baron Haussmann and lasted for decades. The idea was to reorganize and modernize Paris, but also to improve living facilities for Parisians. They knocked down 20,000 buildings and put up 30,000 new ones. They built 300 kilometers of new roads and also 600 kilometers of sewers. It was such a prodigious project, they just worked with pickaxes and shovels. They had nothing, absolutely nothing. But the work met with critics of the time, huge expense, thousands of poor people left homeless, and the loss of much of medieval Paris. Yet it was Haussmann who gave us the Paris we see today, the parks, boulevards, and a city with lights.